Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the Lab, Lab Africa, Africa podcast. podcast. What's up? How you doing, Jida? Doing great, man. You're cool, man. Yeah, I hope you are doing very well too. Yeah. Um, and then welcome to another episode on the Lab African podcast wait episode three episode three season two episode, season three. Two, episode three. Mm-hmm. yeah we're excited about this um yeah. because we've come that far yes. and then, and i think today's uh discussion we're going to share a bit of what we've been doing i mean some of the challenges we've been having st- starting this podcast is great yeah so if 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 you haven't already looked at a title on the podcast or on the video then today's title is lessons from the failures so as an entrepreneur you you these are things that you need to learn from and it's inevitable but we'll get into it but we also like to remind you that today's episode is sponsored by stylus innovative studios so stylus studios stylus innovative studios is a storytelling brand innovative studios based here in accra ghana and then they are helping us with all the equipment the microphone the camera the lighting this whole setup is beautiful man it's beautiful thanks stylus innovative studios and then we have the other sponsor which is traventure experience which deals with your corporate and individual travel and tourism experiences here in ghana and we are looking at expanding outside ghana um, in the coming years so yes we we're so super grateful to be part of this podcast you know yeah so yes so if you if this is the first time on this channel i'm your host martinson and i'm judah domino yeah and yes. so before we get into the discussion let the intro roll, roll. All right, so Judah, um, awesome. yeah, thanks, thanks for you actually suggested this particular um, topic we are discussing. Yeah, I'm waiting for your topics too. I'm, st- I'm waiting for your topics. Yeah, and <laughs> it, it, I think I think it's a very important thing to discuss yeah. on this uh, platform and with our community. Yes, very because uh, in my opinion, yeah, failures are very necessary for any entrepreneur to grow. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, and feelings are very necessary. So, um, I remember just a few. I think I've even done a, a short video about failures. Uh, I mean, it related to failure, but on my on my own YouTube channel. So, um, if you don't know my YouTube channel is Exodus Creative Africa, please go and follow us. Go and follow and uh, yeah, like the video. We do tutorials and all of that. By the way, so as we go on, I met. Um, so we, uh, I was shooting a film. Um, was it uh, late last year yeah. and so we went to a particular location and it was a beautiful place a beach and then it's been run by this young man very young man i think he's 23 or 22. wow yeah that's amazing it, it used to be a rubbish dump and then he turned the whole place into a, a really nice i think you have him on a podcast one of these days yeah uh, yeah definitely you know and what i told him was like I'm really happy for him. I'm proud, and I'm proud because yeah. he decided to start young. And then I told him it is very necessary that he started. It's very good that he started young because in, at this stage that he will be able to fail and he'll be able to learn from it. That's what I told him, and then that's what I want to, my, my audience to also know that it's it 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 is good to fail. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's a good thing. But no, I think you have to qualify. It's good to fail forward. That's how. That's what they call it. <laughs> but yes, it's it's good to fail. Somebody can fail and then just give up. But yeah. fail moving. Yeah, still moving. Hmm. That's yeah. what he means. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I, not, I hadn't finished then, but it's all right. Because <laughs> it, it it's good to fail because I was telling yeah. him that you know you don't want to be failing when you are you are old and you are in, at a stage of your life where you can't afford to fail. Like seventy. <laughs> yeah you know you, you, so it's it, so i recommended him that I, I that it's good that he has started early now let's come to the failure part is so i i kind of you know started doing design where as freelancing as a business mm-hmm. i didn't really think of it as a, like establishing a whole studio you know doing film and design and branding for others but at that stage it prepared me for what i was yet to come into yeah and what it did for me is i failed several times i failed to charge 
I failed to communicate. I mm. failed. Uh, I failed to understand my client. Okay, that part of the communication. I failed to satisfy my client's needs. Yeah. You know, and all of those moments uh, really b- 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 gave me the opportunity to come to the stage where now when I started my own design studio, you know, like. I had that experience, that tools in my pocket, and I like I could show off my skills to mm. this new client that would come, and then they were like, "Yo, man, this guy knows what he's about." Yeah. And I remember I was like, when I actually d- started the studio, my very first client was a UK-based uh, client, and then my first meeting, like I was actually surprised at myself, the attitude I went there with. Because previously, um, I had been afraid to speak about money. Previously, I had been a- afraid to uh, really get into the problem the clients had. Yeah. It was all, almost all superficial design, let's go, you know. But when I went there, it was a whole different thing. And it was because I realized that I had failed several times being superficial, failed several times not uh, being confident to take the reins of the conversation, direct yeah. how it goes and uh, all of that. And so after failing and then learning from it, when I met this client and then initially he was like, okay, I want you to design this for me. I've registered a company already. Do this, do this, do this. And I was like, okay, all right. All right that's good. Let's just press on the brake a little bit and then let's roll it back. And then now I started asking questions and then I started steering the whole conversation. And then we got to the bottom of the whole problem the needs and everything and then he was very happy initial was going to be just one contract to do the logo stuff for him yeah. and then it's kind of like just because of that short conversation and experience that i showed there he gave me the whole contract for the whole brand design so from wow. the logo to the website to the packaging to the store design because they were building a store in uk oh, and okay. i did the interior design for them the packaging, everything like that, the whole brand was about. And oh. and it was because I was able to have that contract bec- because I had failed several times and then I, I was able to learn from my experience. Wow, and that's, then I, I brought that. That's amazing. That's, whew. I, I like that story though, but, but mine is different. Hmm. Mine is different. So I would, I would take us back. Um, this is before Traventure. Um, when I used to work for a church. Yeah. Um, after my, so I was a, pastor in training i was also a youth pastor Uh um for a church in nairobi kenya and i was moved to a new campus Uh what we call branch here in ghana and this new place the the setting was different so now they don't speak they speak swahili but then they speak sheng it's more like the how do I call it? I don't want to call them. They're more like the a shaman kind of vibe. Oh, okay. so, like the ghetto kind of. Yeah, I don't want to call it ghetto, but, but yeah, it's like but, the slang. So it was more of a, a ghetto-ish kind of vibe. Um, so the guys speak Sheng. The most some of them had dreads. Like it's okay to to have dreads in that community. It was all fresh, and fine. And I struggled being a foreigner and having to communicate because some of them are like, "Yo, speak Swahili, man." You don't understand, if you don't know how to speak Swahili, like you're not coming to translate it, like <laughs> yo. And and I remember going to my boss one time and I was like, yo, like I don't know why my my numbers because you know, in as much as it's a church, you also when you when you're working, it's it has to do with numbers. Growth. You look at numbers, yeah, growth. Because it also encourages you as a as a leader. As a leader and as you do whatever it is you do. So then like my numbers keep dropping, they keep dropping and my boss was like, yo, see, you're learning how not to do it. Mm-hmm. I was like, what? Mm-hmm. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah. See, fail as many times as you can, but fail moving. So that's where I learned that word from, mm-hmm. fail moving forward. Because you're learning, if you fail 99 times and you succeed on the 100 one, it means you've learned 99 times how not to do it. So when you're talking to somebody, you can tell them, yo, this is... 99 reasons why you shouldn't do this of how you feel uh, or, yeah, or something or, yeah um <laughs> and and currently looking at it because like i struggled um i struggled i struggled i struggled but then that thing kept kept ringing a bell in my in my head over and over that even currently with with traventure i'm like you know what like let's we we move 
Yeah. Can we can say move to move <laughs> to move? Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now let's get into some of the other f- aspect that we filled in. You know, the last and our last episode. If you haven't yet uh, listened to our last episode, we talked yeah. about the master of skills entrepreneurs should have. Let's talk about where what where in your growth as um first i know you worked with a tech startup you yeah. now you did your own stuff and then you went to nairobi and then came back having your own business where s- certain aspects that you failed and then now you think has granted you the opportunity to be better at either that skill or that area of business so i i think there's a build up from last week's conversation yeah um when okay let me start from from my working career national service does not count mm-hmm. um when i started working with a tech startup okay the other startups i, w- I used to work for also don't count because <laughs> <laughs> I, I they they helped me but but when i was working for the tech startup um which amish a friend of this podcast used to be part of i i i learned to show up okay when i say show up i mean like be present so this is a timid young man who growing up like i used to feel like you know which i'm not you know like yo i don't just like you i don't want to turn this into a therapy session but like, i felt like you not i will not be be great i will not like i need to go to a lot of school mm. to be able to speak or have a voice so now working in an office where guys have degrees in wild stuff engineering and what and what and what and going for a meeting with Samsung guys and with other companies and other brands and sitting with CEOs of big brands and all that, like I learned to show up okay. and show up, not in the sense of just be there, but show up and also take a seat, grab a seat and have a say in the conversation. And that's, has, that's helped me over the years to reinvent myself from the timid Judah into the Judah who is outspoken and not your yes sir kind of person so did you lose anything being timid did i lose yeah stuff in terms of business and wise or work uh, I, I i i i would say it it did not make me i i was i was not a marketer the fearless marketer like i am today because mm-hmm. kind of like i can walk up to anybody and tell them my peace of mind and say whatever i need to sell and just walk out because at the end they man your no will not reduce the food I'll eat in the next 10 minutes or will not reduce my breakfast I had. Mm. So then I did, like, it changed my mindset. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I already mentioned a bit of the failures that I mm-hmm. had. And I think over the last podcast, too, I did mention a few as well. But uh, now I would talk about some of the recent failures right and the some of the recent failures has been so i've been doing more filming recently yeah. you know so stylus innovative studios it's like it's a it's a storytelling brand st- you yeah. know place so we do it with animation and all of that but recently that there's that drive to tell real stories stories of people like stories of the community and then we're doing that through documentaries and last year's documentary film abilities life of entrepreneurs with disability was my first and looking back at it i'm so happy that i did it last year yeah and not wait because um i look at the film it looked great to me at that time mm-hmm. but looking Can at I it be? again <laughs> you know i was like i've grown so much and yeah. the places that I would say that I I probably might have uh, filled in will be the the fact that um, I wish I had spent more time with the with the cast or with the featured in the documentary film. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, we did spend more time even afterwards and all of that because yeah. we kind of developed relationship. But in terms of filming itself, because I, I got, I've gotten to realize afterwards how we, as individuals, we grow. 
yes. Genesis scroll. Yeah. And then I wish I, I had the opportunity to see that, to have got that featured featured in the film to see how this individual's life changed, you know, within that period that I've known them. And that is for me a, a lesson for my, for the next episode which um we're currently in the process of production you know we're in the pre-production stage yeah. um so for me that is something that i've learned you know to see that uh i couldn't get a, i couldn't uh feature how they grew since the time i met them as persons with disabilities or as entrepreneurs with disabilities and how yeah. they are growing their own business and then how they've developed so far until today you know and I, it would have been nice to have it but thank god i have an opportunity so yeah. um just for our audience to know it's it's going to be a series the documentary film yes so it's, it's a series um going to be featuring a, um, a lot of entrepreneurs in ghana and hopefully across the continent of africa yeah. um featuring entrepreneurs who have disabilities you know, or entrepreneurs with disabilities. So they have their own businesses and, you know, working to improve their own life and the life of those around them and the community, yeah. uh, you know, and the continent at large. So if if you're interested, you can hit us up on the Lab Africa podcast yeah. platform or Exodus, or you can even follow us on Stylus Innovative Studios or on our website, www.stylusinnovativestudios. So that is for me the recent failure that I think that I've I've learned from, you know, and I believe the the new film is going to be even it's going to feature really deep story, deep things about the characters that I had featured in the yeah. initial uh, film. Yeah, but that's but that's the thing about growth because when you look at when you look at growth, it's it's what do you grow from? What do you grow out of? You yeah. grow out of failure, like. Mm. So that is what growth is. So I, I can't wait to see your next your next thing, which I know like I can't wait to also hold the camera and also film. <laughs> uh, so shout out guys like yo guys, you should know I'm also a cameraman <laughs> in training. Um, <laughs> we might yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, for me, so I've, I've had shout outs to a lot of a lot of guys in the tourism industry in like oh man, why have I forgotten this guy's name? Like yo, I, I've I've had a couple of meetings with guys in the tourism industry, and it's it's surprising how they most of them are are welcoming. Ma, is it Marshall you're trying to? Yes, Marshall, <laughs> and then there was another guy who is Joel King's manager. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've yeah. forgotten his name. Yeah, I remember that guy. I forgot. Yeah. His name. Che, so Che, yeah, mm -hmm. shout out Che, and so these two people like are always there. I was I'm even supposed to have a meeting with Che, but yeah, <laughs> I'll see him later. But like I've had meetings with these people and they're like, yo, like this is this is the process you go through. Just understand that, yo, there's some failures that will come your way. There's sometimes you you think you've got everything intact, you've got your budget and everything ready and done. Then you get on the field with your clients and then you're taking them out on the trip. But then you come back home, you run a loss. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you have a loss. Like it's 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 all part of the process. Like if I tell you what to do, you will not get it. Hmm. Like you get it. But you still end up doing okay. the same mistake. Yeah. So until you, until you experience yes, until that, you experience it. Some, so, so certain things you probably yes. have to fail yourself. Yes. If even certain stories will not. So you can save. Go. Yeah. 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 And I, th I, when you mentioned it, it's, it's true. It's true to know that, because you need to fail in, to be motivated. Yes. Not to fail again, and. I had failed so much. Now, entrepreneurs, you need to make money, right? Yeah. So I had failed so much in making money uh, as an entrepreneur. Because after national service, I decided, uh, initially I was like, I'm starting my own business. I'm not going to work, you know. So I started doing my own stuff, you know. I had a learning center. I was teaching kids. Initially I was successful, and then it failed. And then I, I was doing the freelancing and all of that. And the reason why I was failing it wasn't because I wasn't hardworking. It was because money wasn't flowing. Yeah. All right. And then that is one of the things that I want, uh, hopefully my audience will understand that growing a business here in con on this continent, it's not about the fact that you don't work hard. Sometimes you work so hard. You might even work so smart. And then mm. sometimes the money is not there. 
I have a problem with this hard work thing because yo, the people who do construction work, <laughs> I used to be a plumber. <laughs> like yo, when you're chiseling the wall, it is hard it work, is but hard hey, work. They, how much you get? <laughs> that is you thing. know, so sometimes the, the, the failure would come in the financial part, you know, yeah. in, and then, so you might have the clients by the fact that you're still not getting there. That is the, and then yeah. I failed s- severally in that place. And then I was like, no, this has to end. And that was the motivation that I don't want to be in this situation anymore. I don't want to have clients and not have money. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not, it doesn't make sense. It's, it, it's this failure cannot co- continue. So then I was motivated to come out of that stage. And then I was able to charge and then charge in such a way that in, in, in the case of uh, mishaps or something that un- unanticipated within the project, yes. you can still get s- that money covering you up and then you run, I won't run at a loss. Yeah. And and then for me, it's, 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 um, I'm, I'm excited to share with you that that is how I work. And since when I, since I decided to take that step, I've, I've not had a client come to me and I've charged and afterwards the client, I felt like I, I didn't charge enough. Yeah. You know, because I charge such that, and then all my clients, even though they bring work and then it's supposed to be this, in the end, other stuff comes in. That is a Ghanaian client. That is the African yeah. client for you. And then still, I don't feel like I lost. I don't feel like I didn't charge enough. And then that is how At I this point, I just like I, uh, this thing. So this, uh, our viewers to understand, these are two different types of companies, yeah? So for me, I'm a COVID baby. Like my, my, my company is a COVID baby, yeah. which means it was produced during COVID. So you should understand that it's very, very young. Yeah. That was like last year. Yeah. So it's very young. Now, he has been in existence for how long now? Um... So we officially started the business twenty end of twenty seventeen. All right, but prior to that, it's more been like freelancing work that we've been doing since twenty thirteen. So now you should understand that his 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 maturity in the and I I I I, I thank you so much because um, most of the time you're the person I run business stuff through, yeah. with. like I talk through stuff with you because. Sometimes I'm thinking about things like, oh, you know, like, <laughs> should I just still be here? You know, like, <laughs> and he'll be like, yo, dude, let's get out of that space. Like, yo, <laughs> say, tell this person this. Because, like, I feel like everybody, all the entrepreneurs, it's nice for you. It's also one thing you should also get is someone who has been, who is ahead of you in the journey. Mm. Even though you're all entrepreneurs, but then there's there are levels. Yeah, yeah. So that then they can help you with navigating certain parts mm. and knowing what to say and knowing how to react. Because sometimes somebody can come and stress you yeah. and you just need somebody who is sitting out of that situation mm-hmm. to just tell you, yo, dude, this is the way to go about it. And then by the time you realize you're out of the yeah. stress. Yeah. 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 Talking about failure, I want us to understand one thing too. Mm-hmm. Don't be, I think you mentioned it the last episode, but I want to stress it here. Don't be afraid to, fail. to lose clients. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, don't be afraid to lose our pros- prospective clients. Yeah. And those are some of the lessons to you might have to learn because there are, there are some clients when they come, you already know this is an inevitable <laughs> trouble. True. So you don't want to every enter and then say, I'm, I'm entering to fail to see. No, 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 no. Those, those, those <laughs> ones. <laughs> You're so a sleepless night. <laughs> no, 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 those ones. So, like, I, I, for me, over the years, like, yeah. over the few, especially the f- past few years, since before, just before COVID and during COVID, there are some clients that had come that I had to let, like, we had to agree that we can't work, you know, because I had, from, from one set, I see the trouble. And then they are not willing to help me solve that trouble, and I don't want to end up losing because yeah. the the though they brought a problem, they don't want me to s- solve it. They have their own solution to the problem, <laughs> and it's not going to help I- any of us, you know. Yeah. So, simply put, don't be afraid to lose certain some clients. Not you know, don't be afraid to lose some clients because. Uh, that's that's how sometimes it goes. You don't want to just put yourself into certain trouble that it will be hard for you to come out. And then now you said it's a lesson you learned. No, <laughs> just be, be fast, be smart about it, and then just you know. Yeah. So, do you know what? I just remembered why I brought this topic up because I brought this topic up. This and 
your, the conversation today has just reminded me why. Mm. Because this is just me learning. Like, mm. this is just me back in, in class 101, <laughs> entrepreneurship 101, learning. Because I, I believe, so me, kindly, I'm, I will not really talk much. Because my, my experiences are, are quite few. Mm. But I like, yo, please, just, just school us. Like just school us, like. Uh, no, no. I think I think we've shared quite <laughs> enough on, uh, on in today's. I, like in, well, like, in, I think we've really shared really quite enough in today's episode, and yeah. it's it's just that uh, what we're gonna. I, I would like us to understand in the end is that failure is necessary. Yes. For yes. for any entrepreneur, and especially as an entrepreneur on, that, on this yeah. continent, it, it's very necessary. And then the earlier you fail, the better it is. So if you have any business idea, start now fail now don't wait and then later on yeah, when you when you fail it affects you it because it might affect your family if you yeah. are single right now just fail because when you get married and you are mar- you have a responsibility of children you don't you don't can't afford to be failing financially, financially and all of that yeah. you know so the failures it's good to fail earlier and then by the time you get the you know you have the experiences to navigate all of those yeah. things yeah so for, for this this thing i was i so i went on the internet i was like yo Google, tell me, like, how many people have failed in the world? Like, yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. they've done well. And I was surprised to find out that, what's the name? Walt Disney was, they told him there was a station he was working with or something. There yeah. was a, either a newspaper or publisher or something he was working with. They told him he's not creative enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, what? The, the, yeah, I think this, we forgot to even share the list. Because there's actually a list and list and list of a people. list, who, like, who, endless. Who have, like, been told they are failures. Even Bill Gates. Yeah. His first business, his first business was a data, like a data, mm. did a data reading stuff, mm. failed. Yeah. I'm like, what? You know, uh, Apple nearly went bankrupt too. <laughs> you know, so it's, 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 it's inevitable and yeah. it, it's, that's what makes you stronger. So yeah. uh, we hope we left something with you. We kind of encourage you in today's yes. episode. So thanks for sticking out with us and thanks for being in today's podcast. Yes. And thank you for being with us um, and sharing your weekdays or weekends with us. Yeah. Listening to us. And please make sure you share, yeah. subscribe, tell a friend to listen. Yeah. Um, let's let's grow as a community mm-hmm. so that then, like we always say at the end of our podcast, yeah. let's, let's make, make Africa, Africa great, great again. again. Peace.